I also remember very clearly uh, Ian Gillan coming in the room and he was then the lead singer of Deep Purple and, and it was uh, I only want to say you know and uh, I was listening thinking god this guy is good you know what I mean we had the track already recorded obviously so he started to sing and when he got to the middle eight which is the scream Ian plows on and my god the chill went up your back when you heard this man do his fabulous scream but I mean when we subsequently put the cascading orchestra on top of Ian Gillan's scream in the middle of I only want to say come on this was a little bit of class a little bit of a little bit of beauty nearly everybody involved in the singing were extremely experienced and extremely good singers so almost everything was like first take my favorite moment as far as my part was concerned was the line which is so sticks in the memory jesus is cool where i go down to the bottom be natural or whatever it is um, and that's the one that everybody seems to remember probably the greatest melodic part is the beautiful ballad i don't know how to love him sung by yvonne elliman as mary magdalene i remember uh, with joy uh, first seeing yvonne walk through the door and she was a gorgeous hawaiian long-haired hippie style girl who just sang with a purity and a, a, a soulfulness that that blew us all over yvonne was wonderful to work with she was just very, very sweet and quiet, and she had an air of calm about her, which, which was fantastic, I think. In the recording studio, it was, all I can remember is the red and the purple of the, the little room, and hours and hours and hours singing in it. Heaven on their mind, um, I enjoyed it immensely, I enjoyed singing it. Some of the, the, the death thing is improvised, you know, it's just, you've got the chords and you just, take off. Hearing the album for the first time was very exciting. We were all very proud of it, I think. It was a complete surprise that the album went to number one. I think it probably was for most people. I, you know, we, we loved working on the project and loved doing it, uh, but for it to be a number one was, was beyond uh, our dreams anyway, the, the band's dreams. I didn't have any particular expectations of this record. I knew it was serious. I knew it was great. I enjoyed it. I knew it was, had some fantastic guys on it. And yeah, I didn't know how far it would go. The musical performances were truly excellent. And I think Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber are to be congratulated and all the musicians and singers involved. It did also become a career changing moment for me in the sense of the bands that I went on to work with. Um, we just did our best and, and we made a fantastic product that stands the test of time.